Hi everyone, welcome to the Big Bang. Today we're gonna to talk about an exercise bike and energy conversions. Did you know that if you fasten an electric motor to a bicycle, that you can convert the work done on the bicycle pedals into electricity that can run an appliance like a blender or even charge your phone? As an example, say you wanna charge your phone. You know that if you pedal the bike, you can generate electricity with about 70% efficiency. Also, you know that the human body is 25% efficient in converting chemical energy from the food you eat into mechanical kinetic energy. If one hour of consistent pedaling of this bike produces 175 watts, how many times could you charge your phone with one hour of pedaling and how many burritos, which are 600 calories each, would you need to eat to create this energy? In order to solve this problem, we can first convert the 175 watts that one hour of consistent pedaling produces to 175 watt hours. Since the energy stored in the battery is only 70% efficient, the energy product will be 175 watt hours times 0.7, which will be 122.5 watt hours. Since it takes about six watt hours to charge your phone, after pedaling the bike for an hour, you could charge your phone for about 122.5 watt hours divided by six or 20 times. That's pretty cool. Now, in order to produce this energy, our body will need to break down our food so that our muscles can operate correctly. We know that our body is about 25% efficient in converting chemical energy from the food we eat into mechanical kinetic energy. So in order to create this 175 watt hours from pedaling our bike for an hour, we can do the math. 175 watt hours times 100 divided by 25 equals 700 watt hours. Now we need to convert that 700 watt hours into joules. What we do is take the 700 watt hours and convert it by 3,600 joules is one watt hour and we get 2.52 times 10 to the 6 joules. Now, since joules is a unit of energy, we can convert joules into calories. And we know the conversion from joules to calories is one calorie is 4,184 joules. So we take 2.52 times 10 to the 6 joules times one cal over 4,184 joules equals 600 calories. Wow, that's exactly one burrito. So if you eat one 600 calorie burrito, you can produce enough mechanical energy from the food you eat to charge your phone 20 times. Although this process is not 100% efficient, it is cool to think the chemical energy stored in the bonds of the food we eat can get broken down to chemical energy that helps our cells perform activities, which in turn allows our body to do work like push down on a bicycle pedal, and this work can be converted into electrical energy stored in a battery for later use. This concept highlights the conservation of energy.